thought I'd carry on with my um, doll's house now the weather's uh, improved slightly so I'm able to get into my shed and the next stage that I was at was a skirting board stage so that's what I'm going to do I've just finished off sticking these false chimney breasts to the back there and finishing off with the uh, Martha Stewart punch for my coving so now it is actually skirting boards so what I've done is I've painted a few bits I've measured round and because I'm using homemade skirting boards this is just balsa wood that uh, I'm making um, I don't have to mitre the corners but if you were going to use the proper bought doll's house if you can see there's like a nice ridge there you would have to in the corners mitre your corners using your mitre block um, but as I'm on my cheapskate mode I'm not going to so all I've done is I've painted um, my skirting boards and basically when you start doing your skirting boards excuse me if you're going dizzy here my tip of the day really is keep your full lengths your nice full lengths of skirting board and your cutoffs kind of use for in the corners and the little bits at the side that you're going to use for in there and in you know in that bit in that recess there and I think my homemade dado rail has paid off so I'm going to be making a bit more of that I don't know if you can see it so basically that's what I've been doing I've painted the skirting board and while I've got the paint out I decided to paint that French door there now when you're painting your French doors or any window excuse my dogs they're chasing the cat is use minimal amount of paint because you don't want great big luggings in the corners okay Join me on my next video. Bye for now.